our dear Sunday search moves to Kent. We are live there with the very latest. Tonight, a Met police officer is arrested on suspicion of the murder and kidnap of Sarah Everard. Police are now searching Woodland in Kent. We'll be there with the very latest. Also ahead. Good evening. We come on air tonight with significant developments in the search for Sarah Everard, the London woman missing for a week. Right now, a serving Metropolitan Police officer is being questioned on suspicion of her murder and kidnap. Sarah, a 33-year-old marketing executive, disappeared last Wednesday while walking home in Clapham. Well, the focus of this investigation has now moved to Kent, where police are searching a property in Deal and Woodland in Ashford. Our correspondent, Simon Harris, is there for us this evening. Simon, what's the latest? Any developments on this story will, of course, be on our website. Just search ITV London. On to other news now, and it is an extraordinary place to get the COVID jab. Today, Westminster Abbey opened its doors as a vaccination centre with the actor Stephen Fry among those receiving the vaccine. Almost two and a half million people in London have now had a COVID vaccine, but there are calls from doctors to now prioritise people from ethnic minorities who are more at risk from the virus. Ria Chatterjee reports. The parents of a baby boy who died during a breech birth say they have accepted the apology of the hospital where it happened. Midwives at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey failed to detect Theo Ellis was in the breech position until his mother Laura was well into labour. There were more errors too when staff tried to resuscitate him. Well, Laura and James Ellis spoke to our senior correspondent Ronke Phillips. Laura Ellis ending that report from Ronke Phillips. The makers of Grenfell's cladding knew the dangers of its products 10 years before the tragedy. A document shown at the inquiry predicted that flammable panels could kill up to 70 people. A decade later, 72 people died in the tower. The evidence was part of a presentation given to the hearing because three employees for company Arconic are refusing to attend. Rags Martel was listening. Still to come... Well, but first, low traffic neighbourhoods have divided communities right across the capital, with some finding they make roads safer, others concerned they push congestion elsewhere. In Ealing, nearly £500,000 in fines have been issued in just one month to drivers not sticking to the new routes. It's caused anger and confusion, as Chloe Keady reports. The entire British team that competed at the European Indoor Athletics Championship in Poland will now have to isolate after a member of the support staff returned a positive coronavirus test. It means... Next tonight, cast your minds back to the end of last year when this was posted on TikTok. Sh the ITV News continues with the national and international stories at 6.30. Here's a look at what's happening with Mary. Next from us, Sally is here. Um, Sally, awful day today. I didn't enjoy mm. the weather at all, but looking ahead to sunnier times, hopefully, and the return of a big event. Yes, so you may have... Oh, it looked lovely there in those pictures, didn't it? And hopefully by July, it is going to be <laughs> lovely. But, oh, but Sally, today, it was really hopeful yesterday with the sun and the blue skies. Today, it was just appalling. I didn't what? really want to leave the house. What a difference. And that is it for now. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Mary with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.